Hi, I'm Brian Vance from SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all-new Bell Mag9 open face helmet. Let's start off with sizing. I'm a medium in almost every helmet out there. I had on a medium in the Mag9. It fit real nice. Okay, it uses the contour cut cheek pads. I have to tell you, it was really comfortable. It's got a nice fabric they're using on the inside too, which really helps enhance the comfort of the helmet. Weight, 3.2 pounds on our digital shipping scale today in this size medium. Bell boasts that this will be the most heavily ventilated open face helmet on the market right now. There are intake vents, large intake vents up here on the top that can be switched on or off. We have exhaust vents here on the back. And you'll also enjoy some Venturi effect. It's a polycarbonate shell and it has some really cool ridge detail molded into the shell. So aesthetically, the helmet's pretty interesting. Give you a nice 360 of it right there. You're able to raise and lower the outer face shield. The inner screen can also be easily raised and lowered. Now the helmet can be run in multiple configurations. Okay, I just showed you what we can do there with the shields. You're also able to remove the visor peak, right? You can still run it with the clear outer shield if you like, or you can remove the visor peak and the clear outer shield and just run with the tinted inner screen. The liner of the helmet is removable, washable, replaceable. To remove it, we've got a couple of snaps here on the cheek pads. Just reach in between the cheek pad and the EPS, tug on the snaps, comes right out, a little patch of Velcro there at the back. That fabric just feels phenomenal against your skin. This helmet was designed to accept communication and audio equipment. Okay, so it has nice pockets in here for your ears to allow for that equipment to be installed. We'll remove the other cheek pad real quickly, and then we'll get in here and show you the pockets that are molded into the EPS. The top pad is also removable. We have two snaps on the back, two snaps on the front, and there you go. Try and move the chin strap out of the way. That should be a pretty good angle there, Josh. You see the pocket right here? Easily able to accept audio and communication devices. You can have a look here at the EPS. It's channeled out to allow for ventilation, along with the vent holes that are bored into it. To remove the visor peak and the outer shield, it's really easy to do. What you're going to want to do is get in between the helmet shell and the visor peak here with your fingers and just pull up like so. Come to the other side, repeat the process, comes right off, just like that. Go ahead and put that to the side. To remove the outer shield, you need to lower the shield down just a little bit get it out of this channel, and then go ahead, push in the tab, and pull outward very lightly. Pretty simple to do at the end of the day. Pretty self-explanatory too, once you've had a look at it. Remember, you can leave this on if you want to, once you put these trim caps back on to clean up the look of the helmet. Got a couple of locator pins here that lock in place. Go ahead and move those around until they line up. Gently push in, they lock right in place, and it's going to give this helmet a totally different look, more of an, a true open face look. You'll see here is the lever to actuate the inner drop down screen. You need to make sure on this side that you line that up with the square peg that actually drives that lever mechanism internally. Okay, otherwise you're not going to be able to install this trim pad. Once you get that lined up, Go ahead and push it in, and now the helmet takes on a completely different look. There you go. I think we've pretty well covered this one, start to finish. It's a cool helmet. It's a really versatile piece. Bell does a nice job. I say the quality of it's good. The only thing that felt a little bit different to me, the lever has got a little bit of flexibility to it, but. I've used it quite a few times, actuated over and over, had no issues with it. So I think at the end of the day, that's not going to be a problem. 
Good open face lid, tons of versatility. This is the all new Bell Mag 9. I'm Brian Van from sportbiketrackgear.com.